What's up, Scentsy fans? It's Patricia, and welcome to another week of Tester Tuesday. And this is a spot where I review two Scentsy scents with you each week, but you guys tell me which ones you want to hear by voting at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Last week, we had 380 votes, and we had a first and second place scent. The first place scent was Pink Coconut, and the second place scent was Carrot Cake. Now, I did warm Carrot Cake, but I'm not going to kind of include it as part of the review because I think this bar was from 2011, and here's the color of the wax. I'll just tell you a little bit about it here. We're not going to do official review. All right, the scent description says irresistibly sweet, nutty, warm, and spicy, just like a carrot cake. They don't mention anything about carrots, and they don't really mention anything about the icing. So I didn't really get carrots, and I didn't really get the icing. I feel like it might have lost a little bit of its scent profile, but I can't be sure. So I'll just talk about what I smelled, and it'd be interesting for it to come back so I can compare and if, see if it, if it differs. But this reminded me of a mix of like a diluted Central Park Pralines with about an equal amount of, do you know when you take a, a carrot cake out of the pan, there's always that brown stuff that sticks to the pan. You kind of, sometimes if you're like me, you kind of like taste that. And it has a very like golden brown delicious. You can t um, taste some of the spices, the sweetness, but you can't really taste carrots. So that's kind of what this reminds me of. Like I get the nutty kind of influence that reminds me a lot of Central Park Pralines and I get the golden brown delicious, slightly spicy undertone cooked on the bottom of the cake pan once you remove it residue. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see if this ever comes back, but I just didn't want to do a full review on it because it's so old. So let's talk about our first place scent for the week. It is Pink Coconut. The color of the wax is almost like a coral pink salmon color to me. This had 31% of the vote. It was in first place. And on cold snip, I would describe this as light because I struggled to smell it on first impression. I can smell a little bit better now. It's an LTO, which is a scent of the month, and it's coming in February. And Scentsy has put this in the fruity category. So the scent description is, ground yourself with the soft scent of sweet raspberry, earthy pink clay, creamy coconut, and subtle Tahitian vanilla. So let's break down each portion quickly. Raspberries providing some sweetness, but I can't tell that it's specifically raspberry. It kind of smells like that raspberry you get from Cotton Candy Cookie or Pink Hates. Creamy, yes. Coconut, I don't get. But it is creamy. Subtle, yes. Uh, Tahitian vanilla is kind of like a floral undertone vanilla and a little bit of a fruity undertone to it as well. I looked it up. It's actually the second most costly spice, so good to know. Now let's talk about the pink clay. To me, the pink clay is like an earthy, neutral, sweet base, amongst which all the other things are kind of piled on top of to give you the scent, okay? So one thing this scent reminded me of, and I warmed, um, I warmed a whole bar, but I also made samples for customers, so I have two empties. Okay, so imagine you're at a Disney resort and or any kind of resort and you're walking around the park and there's there's always like a crossroads where you get to kind of like a central portion and there's all these signs. I'll put a little picture here to kind of help you. Um, so imagine like the the uh, pink clay is kind of like that starting point. If you took, if you went down the confection path, you might be at Cotton Candy Cookie. If you went down a marshmallow arrow, you might be at Pink Haze. If you went down like a sweet perfumey arrow, you might be at the scent sugar. And if you went down like a floral sweet path, you might be at like Yankee Candles Pink Sands. So kind of think of it like that. I, I have a note here, some words I use to describe this. Sweet, earthy, neutral, calming, and pleasant. All right, now the interesting thing is around hour four, I noticed a change. And I don't know if other people have picked this up. Uh, it might just be something that my nose is doing, but I noticed that it was that scent that I'm describing plus a little tiny portion of around the campfire. I was smelling like a pleasant campfire smoke plus the sweet air from the campfire. And I would say that was about 20% of the scent. And so when I walked in, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> and I thought to myself, is that really happening? And then when I warmed it in Ryan's room, the exact same thing happened. So it kind of took me by surprise. I like around the campfire, but I would have preferred not to have that additional note. And I'm interested to hear if, if anyone else has found that as well. So let me know if you have. So when I first smelled this on my impression video, I couldn't smell it, but like I said, it's gained momentum. So let's talk about performance. 
I decided to start warming four cubes in Jerusalem. It's just easy. Brandy said, like, come on. <laughs> and I'm like, I know. So I'm going to put two and two in. So in, where this was a lighter scent, I thought that was a good idea. So in Drew's room, two cubes in each of his two 25-watt warmers, strength and throw was about 6 out of 10. I was like, this is good. I can smell it. And it's a lot stronger than I was expecting. I have a note here around the 24-hour mark. It was maybe like a 4. Uh, I, I left it going in about a, a day and a half of 36 hours. It really kind of really only lasted a day and a half in both of the areas I warmed it in. And it's funny, at the very end when I smelled it, you know what it reminded me of? <laughs> a different scent. Like I smelled the wax just as it was in the dish and it reminded me of like a, a raspberry version of rainbows and butterflies, plus a tiny bit around the campfire. <laughs> so anyway, I warmed two cubes in Ryan's room and it was really light there, about three out of 10. So I added an extra cube. So that's three cubes in his night sky. And it went up a little bit to about five. So that was not too bad. And I left it going there 25 hours, about a day and a half. It was kind of harder to smell in Ryan's room. It just did better with multiple warmers. So I think if you're someone that likes, I don't know, that strange pink clay influence with other things built on top, you'll probably like this. Any of those scents maybe I talked about, but it, it is a different and unique scent all on its own. And I would stick to bedrooms and bathrooms for this scent. And you might need to add extra cubes if you find it light. Will I be repurchasing this one? I have two bars left, so no. And what I may do is pick up the room spray. That's what I'm interested in picking up. I love this scent, but I don't really like the around the campfire scent. I wasn't expecting that. And I hope that if I bought the room spray, I wouldn't get that smoky note that I wasn't expecting, even though I like it when I add it to scents. <laughs> anyway, I might pick up the room spray. So yeah, and if you do pick up the wax, you find that light the room spray is always a good to augment the scent. All right, let's talk about scent number two for the week, which is actually a third place scent. It is Scar Starburst Sky. So I put this one in after carrot cake. I wasn't sure about that one. And I didn't have a lot of time to warm this, but I did warm six cubes and I made samples with two cubes. So this was a girly light pink color, um, about a medium to medium light. I would say medium light. And it's a limited time offer in the Valentine's Day collection and I would put it in the fruity category. Since he says sweet apple mesmerized by whipped vanilla and creamy coconut clouds against an amber blossom sunset. Woo, anyway. I don't get any apple. Whipped vanilla, I can see that being in there. Creamy coconut, I don't get any of that. And amber, I would say yes, I can get amber. Uh, I said it's like a perfumey, delicate amber. And a lot of people are saying this is like a couple perfumes. I think Ariana Grande Clouds is it? And Baccarat Rouge, is it 540? I don't know, I'm not into perfumes at all. So I have a note here, it's fruity. It's like a pink amber perfume with a slightly creamy base. Now. That's what most people get. Most people are loving this. I'm gonna tell you, I get an additional note and it's kind of funny, I also got, got it in pink coconut. So my nose is reading something a certain way. And no, I don't have the virus. <laughs> the extra surprise for me was kind of like ashes from a cigarette or cigarette lingering smell from someone that smoked. Like sometimes we hear about tobacco scents, but this is like the burned tobacco for me, like not a desirable smell for me. And um, a viewer kind of hit the nail on the head. She said, it's like, her hairstylist that when she cuts her hair and then she goes out for a smoke break and she has perfume on to kind of cover up the smoke but you can still kind of smell it that's what this is uh, but the other thing is this really took me back to when I was a uh, like a kid in elementary and I would go st stay with my friend and her older sister who was a teenager was so pretty and she smelled so good but she smoked and so when you if you sat on their sofa and let's say that the jacket was there you could smell it that's what this smells like to me Scent appeal, because of that, is really low for me. I don't like the smell of cigarettes or anything like that. And it's funny, as this scent warms, it's almost like my, my her name was Kelly, my, or she's still, she's still here. <laughs> anyway, my friend's sister, Kelly, it's almost like as this warms, it's like the scent is aging and just like my friend Kelly is aging. So like now here we are um, on day two-ish, two plus, and it kind of smells like an older perfume. So uh, let's talk about performance since we, we did that. So I put two cubes in each of two warmers in my TV room. Again, I'm just trying to make life simple and I'm putting two and two. Uh, so we had four cubes total in the TV room and it was about four out of 10 strength. And I left it going about a day and a half to two days. You could still kind of smell, but it was a very, very, very gentle scent. Now that room is slightly cold, but I have a 40 watt warmer and a 25 watt bulb warmer. So 
I decided I, I had no place to warm it. My daughter um, got the virus, so I, I, I was gonna put it in her room, but I didn't want to because I don't want to go in her room. So I warmed it in my room. I took one for the team, even though I didn't like it. So I put two cubes here. Now, because I probably don't like this, that's probably why it seems a little stronger to me, but it was about six to six and a half out of 10 in my room. So it, it did very well and it's still going. <laughs> I guess don't smell it. Um, we're at uh, probably about the 30 hour mark on the second day. So I have a feeling it, it would probably still go if, if I let it, but I'm gonna remove it. So I have a note here. If you like Scentsy's uh, fruity perfumey scents, you might like this. Like imagine the scent Candy Dandy plus a perfume or sugar plus a perfume or pink haze plus a perfume. Like picture those kind of scents. Bedroom, bathroom, I think is the way to go. For me, it has that death note of the cigarette smoke. Now I'm gonna say, please, please, please. It, it really bothers me when people will watch a review and they'll say, oh, I'm not buying that because she said it had the cigarette smoke. A few people have mentioned that they have smelled the same thing, but I would say like 10% or 5% of people are smelling that. So maybe like 90% are smelling the good version. So don't necessarily write a scent off because one person says something, but you should be aware that that's a possibility for you, a very low possibility. Um, ask for a sample if you want to smell it. <laughs> that's what I suggest. So will I be repurchasing this? No, I have written down no, no, no. All right, let's move to the portion of the video. I'm gonna draw some scents and you guys are gonna vote. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put four offerings for the upcoming spring and summer catalog, then we're gonna draw two remaining scents. So these ones we've not done Tester Tuesday videos on that I can see. So scent number one is going to be a peeling apple. Scent number two is going to be kakui and coconut. Kakui, kakui. <laughs> scent number three, I, I can't believe I haven't done this uh, Tester Tuesday on this, but I haven't. Palm trees and ocean breeze. And scent number four is going to be star, apple, and freesia. We're gonna draw two more scents. Pretty soon I'll be switching out my testers for the spring summer. So scent number five is going to be titanium. This is a really old scent. I've not worn that before. And scent number six, let's draw this one here. Scent number six is dazzling pomegranate. So if you're new to my channel, please vote by Wednesday morning. Check the pinned comment to see if voting is still open or closed. You can vote on Instagram. I'll put my channel right here. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care. Don't forget to vote and I will see you guys in the next video.